Welcome, my name is Andrew Swaby and this is Lesson 8. So far, we have looked at major chords, major scales, um, we also looked at minor chords. However, today, we want to look at a minor scale. Alright, so just as there are major scales, there are also minor scales. There are three different minor scale. We have the harmonic, the melodic, and the natural minor. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at the natural minor. So the natural minor, once you have your, your major scales down pat, the natural minor is going to be very simple because it includes all the notes of a major scale. So for the natural minor, sometimes it it's referred to as the relative minor. So it's going to have a relative in a major key. So for example, C, the relative minor for C is A. So the A minor scale will have all the notes of the C major scale. So the C major scale is right? Now, the A natural minor will have all the notes of the C major scale. However, we're going to start from A, which is the sixth degree of C major. Now, let's test this theory somewhere else. So, the theory is, if we go to a major um, scale, or a major chord, and we find the sixth degree of that scale, that sixth is going to be the relative minor, and all the notes in that minor scale will be the same as, that, as those in the major um, chord. So, if I went to F, right, the relative minor for F is D. See that? Now, for D minor scale, it's going to have the same notes as with F major. So F major is... scale for D is going to have all those same notes. All right? So it works. If if we were in the key of A flat, right? And we wanted to find the relative minor, that would be the sixth of A flat. The sixth would be F. So F minor um, scale will have all the notes in A flat major. So, all right. Again. All right. All right. So for your homework, I want you to find all the other minor um, scales. Remember, each minor scale, each natural minor scale is related to a major um, scale. So if you wanted to find um, what is E flat minor scale, well, which major scale is E flat the sixth of? An easy way to look at this is to count one, two, three. Three semitones up will give me the relative major from that minor. So I know that all the notes in F sharp major is going to be the same notes in E flat minor. So if the notes for F sharp is... Uh, right? All these 
these notes will be in E flat. All right. So again. So for E flat. All right. See that? Um, and that's how you want to approach the natural minors. Once you have all the minor uh, scales under your fingers, it becomes easier now to branch off into the harmonic and the melodic minor. All right. Why do I need to know um, these skills? Well, as you get more advanced, skills are the same scales will be the same things that people refer to as runs. All right. For example, say I'm in the key of um, C sharp. And I went to the six. And the song goes to the four. Then to the five. And then back to the six. Right? On the sixth, because it's a minor and it's also the relative minor for for um, for C sharp, and that's my root, I can play um, the B flat minor scale over the B flat minor, all right? Which will be the same notes in C sharp, just starting. All right, and I can, right, so. All right, so that's just a taste because if you were supposed to play a song using a jazz approach, you can use the same notes in that scale to um, develop a, a solo, okay? And we'll go into that later on in life. But for right now, our goal is to be able to identify a natural minor, all right? If you can identify the relative major, you already know all the notes in the minor. After you after you realize that, you can go ahead and make formulas. Like for example, let's take it back to C. All right. If we, we know that the formula to find the major scale is tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. We know that, right? So for the minor scale, we can develop a formula. Tone, semitone. So one tone, one semitone, tone, tone semitone tone tone so again tone semitone tone tone semitone tone tone all right you can now use that formula on any key all right but the easiest route to remembering this and to get right into the game is to know what the um, the relative major is and what the relative minor is. And remember, the relative minor is always the sixth degree of the major scale. The relative minor is always the sixth degree, the sixth degree of the major scale. That is it. Now, remember, the goal is not to be the best in a day. The goal is to become better every time you play. So hey, if you like that one, check out the next one. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button and let's be better together. Peace.